little psycho. <laughs> but like in a good way. <laughs> but. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today it's all about getting some laundry done. I have so much laundry to finish. It was probably like six or seven loads this day. I have no idea why I got so behind, but you know, life happens. So I'm gonna do some motivation with just some fun music. And then at the end of this will be a chit chat with me while I finish the rest of it, just to update you guys on my life and what's going on and just kind of fill you in and talk to you. So I'm gonna let the music play and let you guys get some motivation. And then at the end, we'll hang out some more. Say you made me come 
come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them you do i'm not broken i'm just split in two hope you're fine and got time i'm not broken not broken not broken how could they say i was broken how could they say you made me come undone now i know that it's okay my friends, you are nothing like them Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them So today we are gonna do a chit chat. I finished folding laundry. I had 20 million loads of laundry to do today and I finally got done. My last load is in the dryer. Hopefully I can keep up with it. I don't know why it got so bad, but I just wanna give you guys kind of like an update why I finished all my laundry and let you know kind of what's been going on and stuff. Um, cause, um, I've kind of been absent from YouTube a little bit, and then some of my confu my videos, the way that they were posted, and with all the changes in between in my life, were kind of confusing. So I wanted to let you guys know, like, everything that's going on. And I'm gonna do that when I finish this laundry, or else it's never gonna get done. <laughs> so, to start, I got married in May. Um to my now ex. <laughs> we were together for about two and a half years and some after we got married some things came to light that I'm totally against and I don't agree with and I wasn't okay with and um, so 
so we separated. It's unfortunate that all those things came to light after we were married, but that's how life goes. So, and I know a lot of people have opinions that no matter what, if you get married, you should like fight through with your partner and you should deal with it and you should be there for them. And I do agree with that to a certain point, but if there are things that you completely, completely are against, they go against your morals, they go against, against like what you truly are and what you represent as a person, then yeah, I mean like when you find a partner, you need to understand your limit. And I made those morals, um, and I made those things very clear at the beginning of our relationship, and he just straight up lied to me. So, you know, just because you get married and you believe in that commitment very strongly doesn't mean that you'll stick around and deal with things that are completely against your morals and your character you know, and be married and deal with a person that, you know, is like the person that I fell in love with when married was completely fake. So, I mean, I'm not going to go into super detail. That's kind of all I want to say about it, but we are not together, obviously. <laughs> but I mean, at every end, like, what is that saying? Like, at the end of every like storm there's a rainbow and at the end of your rainbow there's a pot of gold so at the end of that storm you know what I mean like all these things came out when we so we got married in May and we lived in Idaho and then we decided to move to Wyoming together after we got married because that's where my sister lives and I wanted to be closer to my sister and then I moved there first um, so that, like, one of us had an income coming in, because we didn't know how the transition would go. So he stayed in Idaho working, I moved to Wyoming, and the plan was that once I started working, he was going to put his two weeks in at his job, move to Wyoming, and then get a job in Wyoming. Because of the jobs that we were at, they weren't jobs that you could really transfer, so we had to get completely new jobs. <laughs> well, I get there, and... I get a job within the first couple days of being there and I was so grateful, I was so happy, absolutely loved it there, you know what I mean? And um, about a month and a half passed of me being there by myself, things happened, he didn't end up coming at all and we separated. And now we are getting a divorce, like we're getting a divorce, not getting a divorce, we're getting a divorce. <laughs> um, so my marriage only lasted a couple months, which, whatever, you know, it is what it is, but moving on. After my husband and I separated, I, through my sister's partner, met someone, and I didn't think it was gonna, like, like, I didn't think like meeting him, like I literally thought like, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna do me, I'm gonna be single, I'm gonna work on myself, screw this guy, like I don't care about meeting this person, like whatever. So I met him and he's amazing. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna like him so much, <laughs> but he's literally the sweetest, most patient man I've ever met in my life. You know, God did good by making that boy, let me tell you. And his mama raised him right. <laughs> and I totally was honest with him about my situation. And I told him, like, I'm married. I'm, like, newly married and I'm going to go through a divorce. And, you know, I told him why, like, what was going on. And I told him, like, you know, about my finances, about my marriage. Like, I laid everything out. Like, within the first week of meeting him, like, this is my situation. I'm not playing games. I'm not messing around. If you're not interested, then bye. Whatever. That was my attitude. Really sassy. Because I was hurt and I was angry by my ex. And I just didn't want to play games with people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just wasn't interested in that. So, when I was in 
Wyoming. I'm not going to say. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. So I lived in a town in Wyoming. And um, I got an opportunity to move to another town that was an hour away from where I previously lived. Um, because it came with free housing. The job came with housing. And um, so I moved because I knew my ex wasn't coming and I needed a house and I couldn't afford rent because I went from two incomes to one income and like all the bills are in my name so um which is fine because it's just money and I'll figure it out but it's still stressful nonetheless um, I took this job or whatever and I moved even farther and then I just started seeing this guy um, I fell head over heels for him. He's absolutely amazing. He was super sweet. He was super understanding about my situation. And, like, we literally love at first sight. I'm not even kidding. I know it sounds stupid. I know it sounds cheesy. And it's like, you just got married. You just separated. And you meet this guy. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with you? I thought all the same things. But at the end of the day, like, I literally now just think of it as, He's my rainbow at the end of the storm, you know? And the things that I'm working on now and the future that I'm planning for myself and for him and like everything is gonna be our pot of gold at the end, you know what I mean? So I still have lots to do, I still have lots to work on, but right now I'm in such a better situation than I was in and I'm so much happier. I took this job because I got a free apartment, which will explain my previous video before this one. Um, is I moved in and I was really proud of myself, you know, but I was completely alone, completely away from my family. I didn't have my partner there. I wasn't close to my sister and it was just too much and I hated it. And I just started seeing this guy, which I fell for, like I felt, I fell for him, like I had fallen <laughs> and being away from him and my sister, I hated it. I was there for about, about almost two months, a month and a half at least, I was miserable. I hated it, I was super depressed, I couldn't handle it, my anxiety was horrible, like, it was, it was too much. And, um, I was trying to be positive, and I knew I couldn't stay with my sister again because she was having a baby, so she needed the room for her baby, and me staying with her was only supposed to be temporarily, um, like temporary so I knew I couldn't stay with her and I couldn't afford to pay rent and the guy that I'm with now and I'm not gonna say his name or like much information about him just to respect his privacy <laughs> um, he hated I was so where I lived was three hours from him and he would make a trip up there or I would make a trip to him like every weekend to see him and we did this the entire time I lived there and we started seeing each other before I moved like there like we started seeing each other when I lived with my sister so um long story short he asked me to move in with him and at first I was like hell motherfucking no I'm not living with you absolutely not I'm not doing this and I said that for probably about a month, I would say, because I had just moved in there. I was there for like maybe a month and he asked me to move in with him and I kept saying no and no and no and no. And then I missed him so much. All I cared about was being around him. I hated living there and I just decided like I'm not gonna make myself miserable because I'm worried like things are gonna go wrong or because I'm worried about what other people think because at the end of the day my life is already a shit show and I already dealt with that before so whatever you know like this is where I want to be and this is what I want to do and I'm trying to better myself and if this is what feels like home to me then this is my home regardless of how long we've been together regardless of me being married you know and separated and going through a divorce like so I moved in with him, so now I'm not even in Wyoming anymore, I'm in South Dakota, so. <laughs> I moved from Idaho to Wyoming, and then I moved from Wyoming 
to South Dakota. So that is where I'm at now, is in South Dakota. I'm not gonna say where, but that's where I'm at. So that's that. <laughs> um, but I am so much happier here and my relationship with my partner now, like with my boyfriend is so beyond, like it's so much better and it's so amazing and it's so genuine. And I'm literally like, how was I blind to these things before? Like, how did I agree to marry my ex? Like when you meet someone that values you and treats you with respect and is patient and kind and just genuinely wants to spend time with you because they like you so much versus someone who only wants you around for convenience and for comfort because they don't like being alone is widely different and I don't regret getting married because if I never got married then I would have never met him and I don't regret moving because if I didn't move then I wouldn't be here with him and I miss so many things about Idaho and like so many people in the city and the convenience of everything. I miss Dutch Bros. <laughs> and if you're from that area, then you know what I'm talking about. It's a coffee shop. They don't have it here. <laughs> and I miss like my family and my friends and everyone and I miss them immensely. And I'm planning to come back to Idaho in May of next year and in September for two weddings. And I'm super excited about that. And, um, like, I just, but I'm so happy here, and I see a future here, and I have so many plans here already, and everyone here is so nice, his family. So I'm sitting here editing, and, um, basically I just rant a lot. I deleted a bunch of other stuff. Sorry it's so long. There's some more of me ranting and talking and going on into stuff. If you want to listen, go ahead. If not, now you know the situation. But I just felt like I needed to pop on here and let you know that I'm just going to talk about a bunch of random stuff now. So, um, if you like this video, so now I'm currently in South Dakota. It is so freaking different here. <laughs> and it's been snowing a lot. <sighs> Which, I mean, we get snow where I'm from, but, like, I was, I lived in the city, and we were in, in like, a canyon, and, and, oh, dude, like, we got snow, but not a lot, and it was mainly, like, in the mountains, and then you had to drive to it, like, if you wanted a day, like, playing in the snow or whatever. Here, it's right in my front yard, so. It's just very different. But... I like it. I'm getting used to it. It's just an adjustment. The area is just super different and I live in a really small town. I live in a really small town. So that's been a really big adjustment as well. It's going from like a city to a tiny town. Um, and we don't even have a Starbucks near us. Like there's no coffee shops. So which is probably better for my wallet anyway. So what I'm doing for work right now is I work full time at a convenience store in the town that I live in. I'm the assistant manager and um, I actually really like it. It's, I, I've worked in convenience stores before, you know what I mean, and I've done some management, but a lot of it's still really new to me. But it's nice, it's good, it keeps me busy. I really, really love my manager. She's a close friend of mine now. So that's absolutely wonderful. Um, eventually, because this is such a small town and because I have my, my cosmetology license in Idaho, eventually I do want to get my license transferred here to South Dakota. Because if you know anything about cosmetology, you're only licensed in the state that you get it, so you have to transfer your license and pay a bazillion more dollars. And then I want to do hair here. And then one of my old foster sisters, because my biological mother, she did foster care when I was younger. And one of my foster sisters um, in Idaho, she does eyelash extensions. 
And so when I go back to Idaho in May, I'm planning on having her certify me or train me or teach me or whatever you want to call it to do eyelash extensions. So then I can do hair here and I want to do eyelash extensions here. That's the plan for the future. <laughs> but all of that takes time and money. So that's kind of where I'm at. Those are some things I'm looking forward to. I am going to be getting, I am getting divorced. I have the paperwork. I'm doing it myself because I'm not paying an attorney thousands of dollars. Um, it just takes a lot longer and it's a lot more stressful to do it yourself. Um, so there's that. And yeah. I don't really know what else to update you guys on. Oh, yeah. My living situation. <laughs> um, so I moved in with him. This is his house. He owns it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's paying a mortgage on it. It's a small town. So there's... These are all really old homes. Like, they're really, really old. And he's doing a lot of renovations. He's fixed up a lot with it. Um, and they're almost done renovating the bathroom. Like, we have a working shower and a toilet and, like, stuff, but they're, like, doing some electrical things. Like, they're just in the process of fixing it. And eventually he wants to redo the kitchen. Um, it's a really old kitchen. There's not even a dishwasher, so I wash all the dishes by hand, which is fine. I actually find it really relaxing. I, I don't mind it, like, at all, actually. Um, and there's not much else to do in this town, so washing dishes by hand is not a big deal. It gives me something to do. Um, but it's a really small house. It's a little laundry area, a little kitchen, living room, one bathroom, and two bedrooms. And, um, we, he is, okay, so we're also living with two of his family members. They were having a hard time, and so they're going to stay with us for a while. Which is really nice to have the company, and they're super sweet people, so I'm really happy about that. Um, it's just kind of crowded because there's four adults, two dogs, and one cat in this little house. But I'm blessed to have a roof over my head and a wonderful partner, and... We're surrounded by wonderful people. The animals are great. Like, everything's good. It's just small. It's just crowded. But nothing I haven't dealt with before. Literally my entire life growing up was a lot of people in a tiny house. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to have to make a video explaining my, like, childhood and my family tree and, like, my living situation growing up because, dude, I have some stories. <laughs> So if you're interested in that, let me know, leave a comment down below, I have lots of stories, crazy stories. So if you guys want some background on me or some story times, like, hit me up, let me know. Also, little update too, um, I hate my car right now. <laughs> so I've done a car cleaning video, so you guys have probably seen it before. But I have a 2008 Buick Enclave. It's like a total mom vehicle, a little SUV. And I actually really love the car itself. It's just having a lot of issues. And I want it to stop having issues. So. Um, like, I've had to replace the windshield wipers like four times the past two months. Because they've frozen and snapped or like they get loose and they fly off in the wind Ugh, so many things and then my windshield is completely cracked because a semi like ricocheted a rock into my windshield and every time I turn the defrost on it freaking cracks some more and then we were changing the windshield wipers and my boyfriend accidentally slammed the middle bar and it cracked the windshield again which it's not a big deal. I was kind of laughing at him because it was already cracked and he was like freaking out though. It was so funny. My battery has died because of the cold 
and my AC blower motor that pushes out your AC and heat air. So it's not the AC or the heater, it's just the motor that pushes the air out. It went out when I first bought the car. And um, it went out again. So I had to replace that again. And because it went out again so soon, it was the resistor, which is like a fuse or sensor or something, whatever. Um, that was bad and it kept making the motors seize up. So I had to replace both of them. And the car is pre-owned, like it's used, has a lot of miles on it. I put a lot of miles on it, you know, driving back and forth to Idaho and like moving and all that crap, you know. And so, I mean, I replaced the brakes and I'm gonna have to replace the shocks and the struts and the, like all that stuff. And I need new tires, and I now need a new windshield. Ugh. Probably need a new battery. <laughs> I just need a new car. Oh my gosh. If the car was like brand new and working like a champ, I wouldn't get rid of it. But because the car itself, the design, the style, the size, everything, I love it. It's just old and worn down and things are breaking and it's frustrating and it's annoying and I hate it. Well, I mean, that's everything. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below. I'm so happy to make a video for you guys. I'm gonna try to get it uploaded as soon as I can. <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet because of my roommates. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you guys want to see more, if you have questions, or you want to say hi, or whatever, if you want some story time videos, let me know down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.